this video I'll be solving the previous year questions from the subject thermodynamics and the chapter will be second law okay so the first question is an amount of 100 kilowatt of heat okay underline this 100 kilowatt it, it is kilowatt of heat is transferred through a wall in steady state one side of the wall is maintained at 127 degrees Celsius that is 400 Kelvin and the other side of the wall is maintained at 27 degrees Celsius that is 300 Kelvin the entropy generated due to the heat transfer through the wall okay let me draw a rough wall yeah. so let this side be at 400 Kelvin and this side be at 300 Kelvin I know that heat flows from high temperature to low temperature so heat will flow from this wall one wall to two wall okay so as uh, the walls are at fixed temperature can I say that S due to walls due to I mean heat transfer between the walls I'm writing it in short will be Q by T1 because T1 is also constant and T2 is also constant and Q is same but heat is going out from this wall so this will be with a negative sign and heat is absorbed in this wall so this will be with a positive sign okay can I say minus Q 1 by 400 minus 1 by 300 okay now you have to find the entropy generated in watt per Kelvin so you have to convert this 100 kilowatt into watt that is minus 100 into 1000 solve this minus 100 upon 400 into 300 the answer will be 83.33 watt per Kelvin a pretty easy question all you have to do is take care of this sign these signs this this one and this one okay let's move on to the next question A closed system contains 10 kilogram of saturated liquid ammonia. Okay. Temperature is given at 10 degrees Celsius. Heat addition required to convert the entire liquid to entire saturated vapor. Okay. Okay. Keep uh, always mark these. Okay. You cannot mark that uh, the uh, these keywords. So what you do is write these keywords on your notepad before solving the question. Okay. At a constant pressure okay the heat addition required is 16.2 megajoule if the entropy of the saturated liquid is entropy is also given of the saturated saturated liquid the entropy of saturated vapor you have to find okay can I say the problem is saying this thing uh, this dome is yeah. so can I say the initial condition is this and the final condition will be this I have to convert all this saturated vapor to sorry saturated liquid to saturated vapor okay so the entropy of saturated vapor so I have to find Delta S first Delta S which will be SFG which will be SG minus SF this has been given we'll be finding this but but before uh, uh, you know we have to find before finding SG we have to find Delta S okay so can I say Delta S is equal to Q by T S yes I can say this because this is the saturation temperature the temperature is not changing so Q is 16.2 mega joule okay that is 10 raised to the power 6 16.2 into 10 raised to the power 6 joules upon TS 10 degrees Celsius this will be in Kelvin so 283 Kelvin solve this this will be 57.24 kilo joule per Kelvin okay now notice I have always told you that beware of the units you have to find the entropy in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin okay but here 
you have got the delta s in kilojoule per kelvin so what you do is you find specific entropy specific entropy mass has been given so divide this delta s by m this is delta small s represented by small s which is 57.24 upon 10 that will be 5.724 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin now the units are matching okay so SFG is equal to Delta S is equal to 5.724 is equal to SG minus SF okay take this term here SF you know SF it is given as 0 0.88 that implies SG is equal to 6.604 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin okay do not miss this units are very important you have you have found the answer in kilojoule per Kelvin you have to convert this Delta S in specific entropy because you have to find the entropy of saturated vapor in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin okay let's move on to the next question one kilogram of air mass is given as one undergoes an irreversible process between equilibrium state first state is 20 degrees Celsius 0 0.9 meter cube and second equilibrium state is given as there is the change in entropy s2 minus s1 in joule per kilogram Kelvin that is change on in specific entropy okay so this is a directly formula based question can I use this delta s is equal to cv ln t2 by t1 plus r ln v2 by v1 you have uh, read this formula you must have learned this formula okay so directly uh, use this formula r is okay be aware of the units again in joule per kilogram Kelvin R is in joule per kilogram Kelvin okay great what is T2 T2 is 20 degrees Celsius T1 T1 is also 20 degrees Celsius so this becomes 0 okay ln 1 is 0 and R is 287 V2 is what V2 is 0.6 meter cube V1 is 0 0.9 meter cube okay so solve this you will get the answer as minus 116.363 joule per kilogram Kelvin okay this will be Delta S that is s2 minus s1 simple question uh, directly formula based question okay so do remember the formulas next question is an idle gas undergoes a process from state 1 conditions are given to state 2 conditions are again given specific heats of the idle gas are given CP CP and CV uh, kil in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin specific heats are given the change in specific entropy notice the units from state 1 to state 2 okay change in specific entropy in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin so this is again a formula based question can I use this formula you must have read this uh, CP ln T2 by T1 minus R ln P2 by P1 okay what is CP 1 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin I will be using directly this value because I have to find the answer in kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin this will be 1 T2 is T2 is what 600 Kelvin T1 is what 300 Kelvin what is R R is CP minus CV okay this will be 0.3 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin what is P2 P2 is 500 kilopascal and P1 should also be in kilopascal that is 100 kilopascal solve this get the answer as 0 0.2103 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin 
directly formula based question okay next question A tank of volume 0.05 meter cube contains a mixture of saturated water and saturated steam at 200 degrees Celsius. Volume given of the tank, let it be V, which is 0.05 meter cube. Okay. Mass of the liquid present is 8 kilogram. The entropy of the mixture is. Okay, this is a nice question. Not a difficult one, but yes, it is a nice question entropy of the mixture you have to find okay so how to proceed this question what is entropy of, what will be the entropy of uh, the mixture what will be the equation for the entropy of the mixture can I write this will be s is equal to sf plus x sfg yes okay proceed the question in this way okay s is equal to sf plus s x sfg all the data has been given VF is given specific uh, uh, volume of gas has also been given SFG SF has been given okay so to find this S we need SF X SFG we have SFG we have SF what we need is X okay what is X X is dryness fraction which is mg upon mg plus mf okay so now we require mg because mf is 8 kilograms it has been given so what we do is what we require is we require mg to find dryness fraction and for from dryness fraction I can find this entropy of the mixture okay so let us find mg first can I say V 0.05 meter cube is equal to volume occupied by gas plus volume occupied by fluid can I write this VG MG into specific volume of gas plus MF to specific volume of fluid can I write this yes I can write this okay now VG is given VF is given mf is also given that is 8 kilogram what you can find you can find mg great so 0 0.05 mg put the value 0 0.12736 meter cube per kg plus mf is 8 kg vf is 0 0.001157 meter cube per kg okay mg comes out to be 0 0.3199 kg okay now we have found out mg we can find out dryness fraction x is equal to 0 0.3199 upon 0 0.3199 plus 8 so all this dryness fraction will be 0 0.03845 this will be dryness fraction put this dryness fraction in this formula what is SF? SF is 4.1014 SFG SF, oh sorry SF is sorry FS, SF is 2.3309 and SFG is 4.1014 okay like uh, this uh, be careful that uh, what is SFG and what is SF do not interchange the values okay be careful in the exam X is 0 0.0384 solve this you will get the entropy of the mixture as 2.488 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin check the units in the last yes the units are matching fill the answer as 2.48 or 49 or 488 whatever you, you can fill correct to two decimal places you can fill it fill the answer as 2.49 or 2.48 there will be a range okay okay the next question for an ideal gas with constant properties undergoing a quasi static process which one which one of the following represents the change of entropy from state 1 to state 2 again a direct formula based question okay so what I do here is I will write 
the three formulas which you should remember so that you can easily solve any of the formula based questions okay so delta s okay i'll write here delta s is equal to cv ln t2 by t1 you must have uh, read this form read these formulas uh, while uh, studying thermodynamics r ln v2 by v1 you must have derived these formulas also i am not deriving it here so cp ln t2 by t1 minus r ln p2 by p1 and the third one is cp ln v2 by v1 plus cv ln p2 by p1 cp and cv are what cp and cv are the specific heats of the gas okay so you can uh, remember these three formulas for any directly formula based question